How can smart people be so stupid? I don't understand how these supremely educated people, successful, wealthy, I don't understand how they can be so stupid, so out of touch. You guys know, I think Adam Silver is the worst commissioner in sports. Roger Goodell's doing his damnedest to claim that number one spot, but right now, Adam Silver still holds the title. He's weak. He's out of touch with his audience. He has taken a league that David Stern turned into an international powerhouse, and Adam Silver has essentially just thrown it down the trash chute. Adam Silver is not dumb. I wouldn't call him uninformed. He's not like LeBron James, who has one hell of a basketball IQ, but when it comes to political conversations, LeBron James enters the fight unarmed. I actually came to the defense of Adam Silver several times throughout the NBA season. Much to my surprise, he stayed true to his word. I respect people who say what they mean and mean what they say. Adam Silver told us last October during the NBA Finals that the SJW garbage would be removed from the NBA and they were going to get back to strictly basketball. They did that this season. Now, of course, LeBron James, he continued to use his Twitter fingers to get his SJW propaganda out there, but there's really not much Adam Silver can do about that. The NBA, along with the Olympics, they are the greatest examples that we have of what the infusion of SJW politics can do to a league or an athletic event. Both set record low ratings when they allowed their entitled athletes to infect them with the sickness. Adam Silver should know this more than anyone else, which is why it surprised me when I heard what he said yesterday. He was on WFAN in New York City, and the topic of politics in the NBA came up. I couldn't find the audio to play for you, so I'm just going to read to you what he said. Quote, Our goal is obviously not to lose fans over political positions players are taking. I recognize that there is a portion of our fan base that is upset when players take positions. Now, at the same time, I'm certainly not going to the sort of shut up and dribble notion, end quote. First of all, some people are claiming Adam Silver was mocking Laura Ingram over at Fox News with the shut up and dribble comment. I don't think that was the case. I think he was just describing the opposite side of the spectrum. I don't think he was trying to mock her. Second, NBA fans are not upset about the political positions that players like LeBron James are taking. Well, well, let me, let me rephrase that. The players' political positions are not the main reason that fans are leaving the NBA in droves. Most people, I don't think most people give a damn about the politics of LeBron James. If he wants to vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, I don't think most people care. People got upset with the NBA last summer because the social justice propaganda was shoved in their face during games. It was all over the court. PSAs were played during commercial breaks. Broadcasters on ESPN were talking about it during the game. It is never a good idea to inject politics into sports or into business, but if the NBA just had to do that, if they had to go political, at least try to balance it out. That's not what it was, though. It was completely unbalanced. If you're on the conservative side of the aisle in the NBA, you will be ostracized. How many NBA players last summer spoke out against social justice? None. It was completely unbalanced, like I said. Now, speaking of balance, Adam Silver said the NBA has to find the right balance between politics and basketball. What did I just say? There is no balance in the NBA. You're not going to find the right balance. You have a league full of SJWs. How the hell are you going to balance that out? Again, most people don't care what NBA players do off the court. It's when they bring the social justice into basketball that creates your problem. Adam Silver is backed into a corner right now. He's in a lose-lose situation. He's like the dude that's got two girlfriends. There's no way to keep both of them happy. He has LeBron James on one arm, wanting to use the NBA's platform to push poison to the audience, and he has NBA fans on the other arm, who are distancing themselves from the league 
because it's so political. You can't have them both. You got to choose one. In situations like this, it's generally the better idea to side with the people who are paying your salary. The NBA started to go woke in 2012 after the Trayvon Martin shooting. The 2011-12 season was the highest rated NBA season since the Michael Jordan era. After the Trayvon Martin shooting, LeBron James and the Miami Heat, they wore t-shirts pre-game showing their support for his family. I don't think most people had a problem with that, but slowly and slowly, LeBron became more and more political. The woker he got, the lower the NBA's ratings. I should have made a chart for you guys, but it is literally a steady decline in NBA ratings since the 2012 season. Adam Silver continued, quote, I think we have to present ourselves in a way where hopefully, if players are doing their jobs on the floor, that even if people disagree with them, they respect them for being engaged in society and for having a point of view, and that players conversely respect fans who may disagree with them, end quote. I love this part because Adam Silver gives no examples of how to do this. That's because it's not possible. You are never going to unite people with politics. Politics by design are meant to be divisive. Half of the NBA's audience will never respect the political point of view of LeBron James. There is no point in trying to convince them to do so. They're not going to happen. You never will. And that last point, it shows just how out of touch Adam Silver really is. Players respect fans who disagree with them. Your players do not respect the fans. That's the problem. How many times last summer was it insinuated that the majority of NBA fans, white people, were racist? I don't have a PhD in business. I only have a bachelor's. But I'm pretty sure calling a sizable portion of your customer base racist isn't a good way to attract business. Matter of fact, it's a good way to destroy your business. Another problem with what Adam Silver said, as long as the players are doing their job on the court, they're not, dude. The regular season is irrelevant. This is one area where I actually will give credit to LeBron James. LeBron James, he takes the regular season seriously, but the vast, vast majority of NBA players, they don't show up into the playoffs. Kawhi Leonard, Kyrie Irving. Hell, Kyrie takes sabbaticals for weeks at a time during the regular season. If the players don't care about the regular season, why in the hell should the audience? This mentality of Adam Silver is a complete 180 from where he was last fall. I don't know what goes on behind the scenes in the NBA front office. I saw a report yesterday where Adam Silver was finally on the same page with LeBron James regarding the play-in game. In case you didn't know, LeBron is against the play-in scenario. Now, all of a sudden, he and Adam Silver, they're in agreement. My question is, why are you consulting with LeBron James in the first place? Last I checked, LeBron James was a player. He doesn't make executive decisions. There is a reason players play and executives make the business decisions. The play-in games were a huge success for the NBA, one of the few bright spots of the season. Obviously, from a business perspective, you want to keep that going. I don't know why LeBron's opinion on the matter even mattered at all. I don't, like I said, I don't know what goes on behind the scenes, but it would not shock me if LeBron James, during this meeting, pushed Adam Silver to get back to SJW politics. I don't think LeBron was happy with the removal of social justice from the league this season. Adam Silver, being the big pussy that he is, he acquiesced to LeBron's request. Now, that's just my theory. I don't know that for sure. What I do know, if the NBA doubles down on the wokeness this season, they will set record low ratings for the third year in a row. All right, time to let me know what you think. Give me your thoughts on Adam Silver trying to balance SJW politics and basketball. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys later.